Okay, um, hi, this is the this is Samuel speaking through this. Uh, I'm speaking because I didn't want to write it down and I didn't miss anything, but this is just a short video because I didn't feel like doing a live presentation uh, because I don't have a microphone. And also, I didn't want to for other reasons. I just want to go over the very basic layout of how I think this game should go. Um, I don't want to say we're past the point for ideas, but you know, it's, I think we do have a week, so let's keep it, let's decide what we're doing now and then just do that well, I think, uh, but you know, but we're not like, if anybody thinks of something amazing, then contribute because you get it. So, uh, first one, I just want to talk about the layout of the game is two dimensional, of course, but uh, I might give the layered effect that the platformers often have. They're like uh, a true background, um, uh, like a mid ground that the characters walk on, and then a foreground that would add camouflage and atmosphere. Pretty standard um, 2D side scrolling experience. Uh, and this is it from further out, so what we would need is three sets of illustrations, so uh, I'm using Cornelia's piece here, the background, um, and then a foreground of, you know, shrubbery or whatever, I imagine it animated slightly, one or two frames, uh, and that's where the characters go, and then, like, this is the kind of, this is what it would look like as a file, or something like that, you just I'm not saying anything new, I just want to get down in writing. Uh, so, you know, with no transition, because I can't think of a segue, uh, we'll start talking about the characters. They won't have names verbally for the players, but for our benefit, um, we will refer to them as Beaker and Tracy. Um, uh, so Beaker is the large one. He has arms, he is big, he can break things, lift heavy things, and his special thing is that he can grow down and shrink back, grow down, grow larger, and then shrink back down to normal size. Um, he goes blue when he is large. I think that uh, I, want it, I wanted blue to be the color to signify the additional ability of, like, you know, more than just motion. Uh, it'll be for both characters that we see later, but that, you know, there's no time limit or anything to it. I just want there to be a, a difference, and I'll make the animation and give it to you. But I just want, <laughs> I want, I want to cat catalog all the movements that will need to be implemented. But when he's large, he's blue, and he can still walk and move and do everything he usually can uh, while he's smaller difference is uh, uh, he can't jump at all even when he is smaller but just an aesthetic thing when he goes back down to normal size he goes on like a gradient transition back to red uh, tell me if that's too hard to implement and we'll find a different way or scrap it all together but that's what I was thinking uh, so that's him and then the other character smaller one Tracy you can see is small, has no arms. His whole thing is that he is fast and can jump. Uh, he's also invisible. When he's in invisible, he can go undetected everywhere. Um, and he can walk invisible with free movement until he jumps and then he's visible again. Uh, that's just the kind of thing we're dealing with. I don't want to give the player too much power. And these animations will be implemented through sprite sheets with more frames than this. This is just what I had to let you know what's going on. I think I'm going to, just because it makes it easier for me and I think I can get some cool effects, is I'm going to render the characters out as in 3D um, and do the animations as a bunch of 3D frames. Uh, but, you know, they'll be, I'll give them to you as sprite sheets that are 2D images, so it won't really make a difference to you. It's just an aesthetic thing. Um... So, so yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, okay.
don't fucking know. 